Thank you guys, how's it going? So, I thought I'd do a video. Now, first of all, this is gonna sound like clickbait. It really isn't. I do have some specific reasons uh, for saying this. Um, but for certain purposes, the Hero 8 is definitely a better camera than the Hero 9. Uh, and I will explain that. So first of all, let me just say, there's lots of reasons why the Hero 9 is better than the Hero 8, but this is these are the reasons why I'm not going to be updating to the Hero 9, basically. So I thought I'd, after lots and lots of tests, I did lots of very controlled tests and lots of sort of uh, casual tests. Uh, we've been out today with um, the Hero 8 Black and the Hero 9 Black on the same tripod, getting lots of controlled tests, exposure differences, uh, stabilization modes, obviously the resolution and the image quality and dynamic range and all that kind of stuff. So I've done lots and lots of tests. So let's just get down to it. So if you just wanna buy a GoPro to get pretty shots of your family on the beach, um, buy the Hero 9. Uh, you know, in terms of if money is no option, then yeah, buy, buy the Hero 9. Uh, it has nicer colors, it has more detail in the 5K, um, it has longer battery life, bigger screen, just buy it. It's just, it's just a better camera. But if you're like me, the, the primary purpose I have for my Hero 8 is to be mounted onto FPV quads. So on like a little freestyle quad like this, or a little, little cine whoop like this, because obviously you can't mount anything um, particularly huge on these things. So you need to get the best quality option um, for that. And to get the smoothest, nicest looking shots I can, you know, be it for real estate or following action or whatever it is, uh, I need to use real steady because the, the camera stabilization in the Heroes is good, but compared to real steady, which is a, a standalone uh, software product, which basically then stabilizes your footage, compared to uh, real steady, the in-camera stabilization is nowhere near it. It's nowhere near as good. Um, and what the problem is, is that if, for instance, I'm working for a client and they want really smooth, lovely FPV footage, uh, they're probably going to be asking for 16 by 9 footage aspect ratio uh, to fit a standard sort of TV. That's probably what they're going to want. Not always, but probably. And the issue is Real Steady likes to have the full sensor readout. It likes to have 4x3 um, video footage from the GoPro uh, to be able to stabilize. A couple of reasons for that. For that, basically, when you're stabilizing, you're cropping into the image, and you're you're moving the frame around, all that kind of thing. So having the four by three rather than the sixteen by nine gives the the software just more pixels to play with, and so that it doesn't have to crop into the center of shot so much to stabilize as much as what it needs to to smooth out all of your janky flying. Because even the very very best flyers, you know, are, your footage is going to look nicer with real steady, even when you're really really good at flying these things. So, and so the issue with that is that the Hero 9 4x3 footage does not look as nice as the Hero 8 4x3 footage. Now, we've tested this really thoroughly and it just is true. If you put them both to medium sharpness, both in um, 4K 4x3, what you find is that the, the Hero 9 uh, footage just looks way over sharpened and a bit nasty. If you then drop that down to the next option, which is low sharpening, it's really, really quite soft. And so the sweet spot, um, like I find that sweet spot on the Hero 8 to be medium sharpness in uh, 4x3. That, that offers the best quality, most amount of pixels for real steady to play around with. Um, and it just seems to be the best option, basically. Uh, whereas with the Hero 9, if you put it in medium sharpness, it's way too sharp. If you put it in uh, soft sharpness, it's way too soft. And so there, there isn't really a sweet spot. You can obviously shoot in 5K in the Hero 9, but that only then shoots in 16 by nine, which if you put it through real steady, it basically crops into, I'll put the, the numbers on the screen, but it's basically a 5120 by 22 something, something like that. So it's a really awkward uh, wide aspect ratio, which, if you're editing shots for uh, you know a cinematic reel and you want a, you know, a cinematic aspect ratio, that's absolutely fine and the footage looks gorgeous. But there's a very good chance that if you're working for a client, they're gonna be requesting 16 by nine footage, in which case you're gonna to have to be cropping in further to cut the left and the right of your very wide aspect ratio uh, 5K footage off. So you end up with a, a, a narrower image again. And like I said, with the whole four by three thing, it, 
where real study is able to stabilize much better with all those extra pixels because it doesn't need to zoom in as much when it tilts the, the frame basically so there's just a lot more real estate when you have a, a square kind of um square kind of footage nearer to square because it just means you, you need to crop less when you then stabilize it and fix the frame so yeah so that is the issue um quite simply the hero 8 is lighter smaller um, unfortunately you can't replace the lens which is a bit of a pain in the ass with the Hero 8 but both the Hero 8 and the Hero 9 both work really really well with Real Steady in that it just goes in and it comes out and it's just working so with some of the older uh, heroes you have to faff around with sync points and there's other issues like that um, so they both seem to be on a par they both seem to be have, having the same amount of dynamic range they both seem to have the same they deal with exposure changes the same way I think the Hero 9 does have better colors slightly better colors and it does seem to deal with its white balance its automatic white balance if you use that it seems to deal with that better um, and it like I said it does have better uh, image stabilization if you're just walking around to get it a shot there's lots of reasons like I said the Hero 9 is better but for me I would be actually if I brought Hero 9 and sold my Hero 8 for FPV I would actually be doing myself a disservice because I'd end up with um, not as light nice looking footage because I'd still want to be shooting a 4x3 and like I said the Hero 9 4x3 footage is not as nice as the Hero 8 4x3 footage so there you go that's um, that's the sort of beginning middle and the end of it um, you know like I said this is specifically for the purpose of FPV or if you want to use real study, basically not not everybody that uses real study is FPV, but it's certainly a big big part of the demograph. Um, but yeah, for me it would be a little bit of a downgrade if I went to a uh, Hero Nine from the Hero Eight, considering my purpose, my using my using. But anyway, so here's a bunch of tests uh, side by side. You can uh, judge for yourself. Um, there is, like I said, there's many many reasons why the Hero Nine is better than the Hero Eight. Uh, but for me personally, it would be a downgrade. So it's pointless me spending more money and having a heavier, lumpier uh, hero to go on my my little FPV quads. Uh, Cause I get shorter flight times. I'll have a little bit, little bit less mobility, and my image would actually look look worse. So there you go. So if you're into FPV and um, you want a hero. I would say get one of the older ones or get the Hero 8 because it does seem to work, especially since the latest update, uh, it seems to work with Real Steady really well. You don't even, even have to mess around with sync points or anything, it just works. You can use your level horizon mode, you can do use all that kind of thing, and it just works. Anyway guys, I think I'll leave that there. Um, it's a bunch of tests for you to look at and you can compare and make your own minds up. Um, but like I said, this isn't clickbait. For me, the Hero 9 would be a downgrade from the Hero 8 for my purpose. Um, and I'm sure some of you out there probably have the, the similar purpose, similar use for your heroes. So bear my, bear my words in mind. It is possible that uh, GoPro will release an update for the Hero 9, which fixes the, the crunchy looking over sharpened 4K 4x3. In, if that's the case, then everything that I've said is just completely nonsense and isn't true. Um, because the Hero 9 will, will have better a better image. But as it stands right now with the latest firmware on both cameras, that is where it stands in that the Hero 8 has nicer looking footage uh, for, your, um, for your quads if you're using Real Steady. Anyway guys, I hope that's useful and catch you next time.